How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We just had Tattooed Chef's Q2 results. We just had their conference call. I want to walk through it because the stock price is down a lot right now. They missed expectations. A lot of people are saying that they're selling their position right now. But then as a conference call went along and they gave more clarity to why the revenues might be down and I compared it actually to Beyond Meat and some things that came out in their earnings recently, I saw a lot of people saying that they're buying the dip. So still down significantly right now, but we're gonna go through it. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button, I do appreciate that. Also feel free to hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. We did do the live stream of the conference call. So if you wanna see the full video on that, you can definitely go to my channel, watch it. Also, if you guys want, there is a link down there to Weeble to get some free stocks. It is nice to get some free money, just deposit $100. If you've already done that and you want some other free money, there's a link down there to BlockFi to get an interest rate on your crypto. You can get some free money just for signing up though and putting some money on the platform. So revenue was 52.7 million last quarter. So this quarter, we actually had it fall down more than that. So unfortunately, we were supposed to hit 54 million in revenue. We only saw 50.7 million in revenue. So actually a, a decline of $2 million. Gross profit this quarter was $8 million compared to 13.7 million last quarter. So pretty disappointing there. Net loss was 53.2 million compared to net income of 1.3 million a year ago. This was due to a one-time expense of $46 million from a deferred taxed asset. So overall, these were very underwhelming numbers, very bad. Revenue increased 16 million or 45% since last year, but still, if, if we look at just last quarter, it was a disappointment. Now, I think there are a couple reasons for this. First of all, there was a huge return to restaurant eating. I just did a video that I recorded. I'm going to release it this weekend on my spending, and I ate out a lot this last quarter. Uh, I think a lot of people are eating out, first of all, because the pandemic got way better towards the beginning of the quarter, and now it's summer, so people are eating out because of that. Now, if we take a look at Beyond Meat's earnings, they actually had their food service sales, so the, the sales from restaurants actually go up 3x from Q1 to Q2, and they blew out earnings. They had 32% more revenue from Q1 to Q2. They had $150 million, but they gave really low guidance for Q2 of 120 to 140 million instead of the 150 million they just had. So they actually declined, or they are actually giving lower guidance moving forward because they're worried about the pandemic and people eating out. They're also worried about supply chain issues. So you can either go with something like Beyond, which you can get at restaurants a lot, or you can go with something like Tattoo Chef where you're really eating it at home. There's there's pros and cons to each, but that's just one reason that, hey, maybe this was a down quarter. Also, we did have some issues with high shipping costs. So whether it's freight, cold storage, packaging, all these were very expensive. And that was from the earnings call. We have some other things to hit on in the earnings call, but we'll we'll move on down here. Cash position of 140 million. They still gave the same guidance of 235 to 242 million, which is an increase of about 60% since 2020. Now this is gonna be pretty hard to hit because they're going to have to have 65 to 70 million over the next two quarters to be able to hit this. This company does not expect the Carson facility to have a material impact on 2021 revenue because of the timing of the equipment being installed during the fourth quarter. Now, in their prior earnings, they did not phrase it exactly like this. They said that they expected to give updated guidance on that facility in the coming months. Now they're saying, hey, it's not going to be until the end of the year, really, that we're going to be able to include that. Now, I, I think we can look at this a couple different ways. Yes, it was a disappointing earnings right this is supposed to be a growth stock but it's also supposed to be a food stock and it is kind of seasonal they said that really they think that this will consistently grow over the coming months or over over the coming quarters they think it's going to show consistent growth instead of this last quarter where we actually fell down a little bit they said lower revenue was actually due to the timing of sh certain products and specials through some of their distributors so I kind of understand that if they had a big push with some, let's say some retailer like Costco right at the end of Q1, and then they said, hey, we're not doing that for a couple more months and then we'll do it again. We don't want to have a special every single month. 
So I can kind of understand that might lead to a little bit of a decline, but still, still a decline. They also mentioned a subscription that might be coming where people that really like their products can actually subscribe to it. I don't know exactly what that would look like yet, but that is something interesting to think about. So they actually gave guidance on 2022. So they said in Q4 numbers, they will give full year guidance, but they said right now, they expect about 300 million for 2022. So this year they're expecting 60% revenue growth. Next year they're expecting about 25% revenue growth, it sounds like. They also mentioned that they will be in 12,000 different stores by the end of Q3. They're at 8,400 now. Pretty exciting news uh, for the fact that that is a large increase. Their goal was 10,000 by the end of the year. Now they're saying we're gonna be at 12,000 by the end of Q3. Now, overall, the price of the stock went down pretty significantly. It's down about 9.12, 9.16% after hours today. Now, again, a lot of people said that they were selling. You can tell because it fell down 9%. A lot of people are saying, hey, this could fall a lot further because this is a growth stock that's not growing. It's actually negative. Sure, that that is something that could happen, right? Anything can happen. Price could fall down. I was a buyer today. When it fell down 9%, 9.5%, I picked up some shares. I added about 4 to 5% of my overall position. I added more. Uh, I bought some more shares. So it is actually my largest holding right now. Now, would I have liked to see a great quarter? Yeah, I would have loved that, right? I, I was expecting 55 to 60 million. We didn't see that. But the reasoning for that kind of makes sense, right? A lot of people are moving out, uh, eating out again. But as the pandemic rages on, as maybe we have more shutdowns or as the winter comes, I would expect larger revenue. Now, if we don't see that, that could definitely hurt. That could definitely hurt the stock price. But I'm looking at this as a multi-year play. This is not something that I'm trying to swing trade. This is not a stock to swing trade. Uh, the whole the whole sector is growing, but it's growing year over year. It's not growing necessarily quarter over quarter in every specific different part of the sector, right? Of plant-based foods. So we have to look at it from a broad approach. Yes, that one-time cash, um, that, that one-time non-cash expense looked bad too. They didn't really explain that anymore, but uh, that's something that didn't look great and then just declining earnings. Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, do your own research, uh, not great earnings, but I think their, their conference call definitely helped me feel a little bit more confident in it, a little bit better with their results. They're still giving same year guidance or they're giving 2021 guidance that's similar to what they gave last quarter. So that's where we're at. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for hitting the like button and checking out the links down below for some free money and I will see you in the next video. Bye.